Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to a new vlog. Today is currently Sunday. <laughs> I have done one of those things where I've waited almost to the last minute to film because you guys will be seeing this tomorrow, but it is already, it is 3.30. I'm filming very late today, and we do have family in town, which they have just gone out for the evening, so I am filming. We visited an animal park yesterday, so I might insert some clips. I'm gonna try to insert some of those clips for you guys because I didn't film enough there to make it a full vlog. And this animal park is um, local for us and it's basically for animals that have been injured that wouldn't be able to survive out in the wild and then they bring them there and they rehabilitate them and take care of them. So that's what we did yesterday. So I'll in some, insert some footage now. Today is dang it! <laughs> Massessa Animal Preserve State Park, I think. Yes, where there's plenty of animals. We have family in town visiting. We've just seen like the most massive spiders, and I ran into a bush and it freaked me out. And they're they're teasing me with these little things, that, and I'm freaking out about the spiders. But anyways, we're gonna show you guys all the animals and take you along for the ride today. Let's say hi. Let's say hi. Say hi. He's running away. <laughs> Also, Heather, if you're watching, hello. You have encouraged me to film this little trip, so thank you. I hope you guys had fun at the park as well. I see an alligator. You do see an alligator, oh yes. That's a big gator. Let's go look at alligators. There's a heron in there too. Look at him. Look, he's right here. He's coming up. You see him? I'm here. Right there. Ah! No, don't be scared. Don't be scared. He's... Look, you, know, you gotta be gentle. So we just found out this alligator that's laying out here is protecting her nest, which is over there. It's hard to see with the fence, but there's a big pile and she's guarding the nest. Yeah, I am recording. Very, very slowly. You wanna say hi? Wanna say hi yet? Yeah, okay. Say hi, introduce yourself. Hi. What's your name? Brandon. Brandon. Hi, old caterpillar. Very kind of creepy looking caterpillar. Also, at the park, we're spraying some bug spray. Um, I know you guys are probably wondering about face masks. We wore them to purchase tickets to get into the park, but when we're outside, we are allowed to take them off. <laughs> so we've just went through Cata Caterpillar City. Caterpillars falling out of the trees. Caterpillars falling onto my head and into my hand. And I freaked out just a little bit. <laughs> did I get scared? Yes. Yeah, I did. Are they lines? Bobcats. What is this? They're like little Lexi and Luna kitties, but more aggressive, more sassy. More sassy? How could that be possible? That's true. Look at these beautiful birds. We have a pelican down here. And I'm not sure what those are, but they're really pretty. Look at that. How beautiful. There's Mindy and Larry. Watch your vlogs all the time. This is Heather, who I mentioned in the beginning of the vlog, who inspired me to film this trip. Yay! Yay. So thank you, Heather. You're welcome. <laughs> Some of the spots, like this area where the birds are, the birds are able to come in and come out. It is open sky, so there's not a, what do you call that? Like a net above them to keep them in. Uh -huh. So birds are free to roam if they are able to. I know how he keeps on the gym, so you're not getting it. The thing that might be a lot better. Much better, thank you. Of course. So here's Peepers. He can't fly. Over there's Levi. He can fly, but he stays here. What do you have Peepers? That's cute. Levi and Peepers. Have a wonderful day, Levi and Peepers. So Levi and Peepers are whooping cranes. 
So, how you can help, like many endangered plant and animal species, whooping cranes are facing extensive habitat loss. Conservation is needed not only for the lands they use as my migratory destinations, but also for the areas where whooping cranes stop to rest along their migratory path. By supporting efforts to preserve and restore wetlands, you can help to ensure that the plants and animals found in wetlands will continue to have somewhere to call home. Florida State Park. We're approaching my favorite birds, flamingos. Mingos. <laughs> They have that full tray of food and they're getting sassy with each other. Isn't mm -hmm. that funny? And there's that random vulture like, <laughs> can't eat out of this one. <laughs> oh. oh. Mm -hmm. Owls. Hi. No headwig, but super cute. What's the other one? They're both in the boxes. That one's hiding. I saw it went off. Hi, Lou. Manatee. I'm sorry, buddy. He likes the manatee over here. And then on this side, we have a party zone. <laughs> Just watch. Falling over. Let's Larry's dance. And mine's usually just this. I'm gonna get demonetized. <laughs> I'm gonna copyright. Copyright! <laughs> There's a massive fish. Oh, look at the little one. So yeah, it was just a lot of fun. It was cute. And now Larry and I are headed off to Marshall's because I did pick up quite a few things a couple days ago and I brought them home and they don't fit. <laughs> you know how that goes. So um, the dressing rooms aren't open. So we couldn't try them on while we were there. And I mean, I guess they fit, but they don't fit the way that I want them to. I want them to be a little bit more oversized. And they're, they're trousers or like just basically pants. Um, I don't know if you guys, some of you might follow me on Instagram, but I've been really into like the high-waisted pants that are like cuffed at the bottom. And I just picked up a few pairs of those. So I have them in black khaki, like a reddish orange color, I think will be great for fall. And they just go great with everything, like including tennis shoes and <gasps> birthday girl. Hi Lexi. Oh my God. Hold on. It's Lexi's 10th birthday today. Happy 10th birthday, Lexi. Anyways, Where's Larry? Standing in the dark corner. <laughs> I'm here. Hi, babe. Hi. So we are going to head out to the stores, take you guys with us, and we're gonna have a game night later tonight um, with family. And we also had my mom and dad and my grandpa over yesterday. Yeah. Last night. We had a full house. It's just been very busy. We've been quite, quite, quite busy, so. Which is why this video hasn't been filmed until last minute. But we'll see how it goes. Oh, you guys got stuck on the curtain. <laughs> we have Lexi and Luna all on the same bed. Life is good. We had a couple kitty fights this morning, but that's okay. I need to fold that load of laundry and we can get started with the day. I'm for shoes. These are my new obsession. Like, I love them so much. They're the Skechers, the big chunky Skechers, just because they add so much to an outfit um, that I almost wish I would have got two pairs of them. So, and yes, I am doing that thing where I don't want to untie my shoes and I'm just putting them on and I'm going to get my the back. Everything's happening all at once. Okay, here we go. All right. Outfit of the day, shall we? That's my cousin's hat. Super cute. Keeps the sun out of your face when you're in the pool. <laughs> um, anyways, outfit of the day. Bun life. Heart earrings, which are from Cracker Barrel a couple years ago. No, no, recently, but they had them a year ago. Um, chain necklace with Caesar on it. Cracker Barrel. Feeling great. Tea. Target. Leggings with little see-through bits at the bottom. Target. Tennis shoes. Ross, I think. 
um, but they're by Skechers. And then this is the bag that I need to return. All right, so these shorts were super cute, and I knew I shouldn't have got them because I knew they weren't my size, but they didn't have them in my size, so I tried anyways. Um, they're American Eagle brand from Marshalls, but they're so ripped and so cute. I loved the color of them, but I got them in a size 10, and they just, they just were falling off, but I could easily fix that with a belt, but it just, um, basically, let's, let's tell the real tea. The rips were so loose on me that it was showing my underwear. You know what I'm saying? You had direct, direct access <laughs> to being able to see it from a certain angle if you were looking from the side, you could see. My cousin pointed that out to me. Cause I was trying to make it work and she was like, um, I can see in your, <laughs> and I was like, oh my word. <laughs> so, they're going back. And then these are the trousers or pants, however you want to say it or call them. Oh, I also got biker shorts, which um, I went with the more affordable brand. They came in a pair of two. They're completely transparent. They're a no-go for me. That's a no-go. If you can see my underwear, if you can see straight through in the sunshine, you can see my skin through this. Not about that life. At least not in public. So... <laughs> They're going back. And then these are the pants. So they're high waisted, they're super soft. They have like um, a stretch waist. They have the pockets. And then they're just like cinched at the bottom. And then like you could wear them with the Skechers that I'm wearing today and a t-shirt like this. And basically have your t-shirt tucked in so they're high waisted and you just, you know, that's, that's the style I've been loving lately. And I got these in a medium. And they fit, but they're tight. And I don't want them tight. I want them to be more of that like loose, baggy, effortless style. And then I also got them in an army green color. And then this is a different pair. They have side pockets on them, but they're kind of like, they're very similar. Different material. And then they have the, the cargo pockets on the side. Um, but again, a little too tight for me. So I am taking them back and I'm hoping they'll have them in a size large so that I can have that fit that I want. So, with that being said, Larry, are you ready to hit the road? Ready. And then we're also gonna swing into, Larry wants to stop off at um, Goodwill. So we'll pop in there and see what we can find. Boom, boom, boom. Has your weather been where you guys live? Let me know in the comments below. Are you scorching? Are you still chilly? Because like right now in Florida, it is 98 degrees Fahrenheit, high humidity, which makes the difference. It's not a dry heat here. It's a wet, sticky, hot humidity. We won't complain about that in front of Larry, though. Will we, Larry? Will we what? Nothing. Complain about the heat. I won't. <laughs> oh my God, it's stifling. Seatbelts are hot. Oh, okay. Here we go. Let's hit the road. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so we are back from Marshall's. We Hello. luckily had an even exchange. They had the largest. So I got them in the lar uh, the orange colored, reddish orange pan, the green, and the tan. That was awesome. They didn't have the shorts in my size, which I knew. Hold on, we need to start this car. Where's the keys? Oh, they're in my lap. Thanks, babe. Um, and then Larry spotted this for my mom. She is a huge fan of the Kentucky Derby, so it's what? What is this? Oh, it's to make the drink. Yeah, mint juleps. Mint juleps. So you put in two springs or sprigs, not springs, two sprigs of fresh mint, a half an ounce of simple syrup, two ounces of bourbon, and crushed ice. And it, yeah, it's just super cool. So we got this for her. Don't know if she'd ever make one, but. No, probably not, but she'll keep it on her desk. And then I got this mug. Now I'm obsessed with this kind of a texture. If you guys know what these are called, like I know it's a ceramic mug, at least I think it is. 
I just love those homemade ceramic looking mugs and then the texture of the orange or the color of the rusty orange reminded me of fall and then the inside of the cup is orange so yes fall <laughs> is on my mind um, but yeah that's why I got this cup so that's what we picked up that was extra that wasn't in exchange from the clothes so now we are headed off to Goodwill. Goodwill. I'll have to try those pants on for you guys so you can see what look I'm going for. Thank you. Hi! So we got out of Goodwill and we are now in the drive-thru at Dairy Queen because I really, really am craving a cookie dough blizzard with extra, extra cookie dough. That's what I always get when I come to Dairy Queen. And my diet has been blown because we've had visitors for the last, I don't know, on and off for the last week. We had our friend Jackie here and now we have my family here. Um, so we've had a lot of visitors, my diet done for now, um, but they do go home tomorrow. So diet restarts tomorrow. But that means I can cheat today and have my blizzard because no more blizzards. But we did get, I have something in the eye. We did get quite a few cool items at Goodwill. One being this um, chess set, which is actually a gift. And we got it for my cousin Amanda's boyfriend. And this is what the set looks like. That's focusing on the wolf. I don't know, it's the most, the wolf, yeah, whatever, the fox. It's the most amazing chess set I've ever seen. It's Egyptian, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And the pieces are gold, they're really heavy, and he loves chess, so uh, we got him this. Uh, what are you gonna get from? I think maybe a blizzard with Oreo cookies. What are Oreo cookies? What'd you say? Blizzard with Oreo cookies. What kind of blizzard? The Oreo cookie blizzard. <laughs> Oh, I said it backwards. An, uh, Oreo, a blizzard Oreo cookie or an Oreo cookie blizzard? Oreo cookie blizzard, okay. I was thinking you wanted some kind of blizzard with Oreo cookies. I was confused. Did you do that to me on purpose? I did not. Oh, okay. They have a frosted animal cookie blizzard. That's new. You know the, the frosted yeah, animal cookies from... Oh my gosh, I love them. You can't even find them frosted anymore sometimes. It's hard to find. Here, pull out your hand flat. Yeah, that's got some weight to it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I like that. That's how you know it's a great chess piece. If I saw the real wizard's chess from Harry Potter, I'd get it. Cause that set's like, I don't I don't know how much, I'm just gonna throw out a number off the top of my head, but I think it was like $450 for the real wizard's chess. That sounds about right. Thanks, Dairy Queen order when you're ready. Hi, can I have, what size? Uh, don't like can I have a medium Oreo cookie blizzard, please? and a medium cookie dough blizzard with lots of cookie dough, extra, please. Anything else? Uh, that is it. Thank you. Okay. We want ice cream, we want ice cream, na na na. Ooh, oh, I'm passing the window, got excited. <laughs> It is. Um, no, that's all right. Thank you so much. Oreo? Thanks. You're welcome. Due to counterfeiting, we are currently unable to accept bills larger than 20. Mm. That's terrible. That means there's a lot of fake money rolling around this area right now. I that's... heard of a place that had some fake money a year or two ago. Well, you know it's bad when they're not accepting anything over a $20 bill right now. That's terrible. Oh my. Shame. 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 <laughs> we're spot on. Oh, I'm so proud of us. You guys know what we're talking about, right? It's a yeah. Game, Game of Thrones reference, GOT. Oh my gosh, somebody asked in a video, because they saw my Instagram where I was singing in the car with my cousin Amanda, and they said, I love how you can be a passenger in your friend's car, but when you drive with Larry, you claim you always have to drive because you get car sick. No, it's not my car. <laughs> like, this is our car. This is a husband and wife. This is yeah. our vehicle. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. 
big difference between a rental vehicle that you're Yeah, I'm not insured to drive. Contract to only have <laughs> Sometimes the comments and I'm like anyways. Anywho. Anyways, enjoying our ice cream. We're driving now. I got to go. Hi. Okay, so we are home. I just tried on the pants and <laughs> they're too big. They look um like grandpa pants on me. They're not they're not having <laughs> effect that I thought they would and now I'm almost just like you know what I'm gonna go with the mediums and I should have worn them tight because this looks like a grandpa doesn't it? it does to be honest this is not the look we were going for <laughs> the tan or the the medium looked so much better so the plan was to have them high-waisted but they're falling down they're way too big and this area just, just <laughs> But they do it on you, man. <laughs> no, they do not. But thank you. And then I could tell, especially like in here, that these are so loose here on me. And um, you see, when they were the size medium, they looked really good. It was just I was going for the bigger fit. But these, um, it ain't, it's just not doing it. So now I have to go back to Marshall's and re-swap my already swap. Can I do that again? Are they gonna hate me? I don't know. So, also, if you hear a lawnmower in the background, somebody in the front is mowing across the street from us, but dang it. Okay, well, I tried them on. Let me try in the orange pair. Maybe the orange pair will be different because it's a different brand. Ooh. So, the orange pants were better, but still not good. So, that plan. This plan failed miserably. It didn't. Not what I was expecting. So you guys know I am pretty much queen of sweaters. So prepare yourself. There's sweaters in here. The first one looks like this. It is a large. I wanted it to be oversized. And it's that really cozy material. This was $4.58. And it's just a really nice tan color. Like a, like a creamy tan with... I wouldn't call it a tortoise shell or turtle whatever buttons, but they are brown. Yeah, and it has a pocket in the front. So I thought this with leggings in the winter in Florida would be perfect. This I found at the last minute, and these are little jogger pants. And, oh, it's an extra large. Didn't know that. They do not look extra large. Well, regardless, it's going to be like cozy pajama pants, so that's fine. And I loved the gray and textured black, and it says love, love, love. Kind of like a Victoria's Secret vibe going on, but it's a different brand. And then the bottoms are cuffed. I actually might wear these tonight while we do game night and drinks. I think that would be cozy. I should wash them first, actually, so probably won't do that. All right, these were $3.98. What is the brand? Bobby and Brooks. Is the brand of this and the brand of this one is arrow huh Bobby Brooks? Bobby Brooks what did I say do you know the brand Bobby Brooks yeah. you do yeah. why don't I, I don't know. oh good job babe thank you he's the man and then next, I thought this for like Thanksgiving, this is the brand Morona, which if I'm not mistaken is Target. And I thought for like a nice little dinner, but still keeping it casual on the shoulders, it has all these beads and textures. And it's just another cream, thinner sleeve that's not thick. It's just a long sleeved sweater. And I thought it would be perfect. I'm going to have to kind of watch how I wash it, but this was $4.58. It is a large. I usually size up with my sweaters and my t-shirts now. It's just the style that I'm into at the moment. It's funny because when I was in middle school and high school, everything had to be like slim tight and we would do the layers where you would have the tank top, which would peek out about an inch and then your t-shirt over top of that and then a hoodie and every layer would show and now it's just kind of like high-waisted and you tuck in your shirt a little bit in the front and it's really oversized and i'm totally into that so 
that's what we go for. And then I found this and it is by the brand Dress Barn, $4.58. It is a size medium. And it's a really pretty rusty orange color. On camera though, it is coming off very orange, but it's more of a rusted orange. And I thought this would be perfect for the fall season coming up in Florida. And then this I found last minute, so shout out to all of my my lovelies in Ireland. I've never been to Ireland, but I could not pass this up. The quality is incredible. It's just a really thick, good hoodie. And it is in a size large, so it will be oversized. It says Dublin, Ireland in it. And what I really loved was how thick these strings are for the hoodie and this part right here. And honestly, it looks like it has never been worn. It is in perfect condition. The hood is like that really nice, thick, oversized hood. This was, or is, I'm honestly wondering if it was purchased in Dublin. It was by the Dublin Trading Co. Grafton Street, size large, official merch. Official merch, hmm. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys know, let me know. But I'm very excited to wear it. And that's everything that I picked up. All right, so from Marshalls, I also got this, which is just a really nice throw over if you're wearing a tank top or something. $12.99, originally $17, or yes, by the brand Pink Rose. I snagged it in a size, I don't want to say snag. I got it in a size medium, and I thought it was really cute and delicate. And then this is another really good quality hoodie. And this is Calvin Klein. It is all white. It's a medium. It says Calvin Klein across here in like a metallic white. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on camera. And again, the strings for the hoodie are just super thick and bulky. And I really like that chunky look. And it does have little slits on the side, which I wasn't super thrilled about. But when I tried it on, it actually looked really cute. Again, this is going to be quite big. The, it's a medium, but it is it is oversized already. So with leggings, great. Biker shorts, great. I don't have those. Um, but yeah, that's my plans with this. Gonna have to be super careful with it as it is white, like crisp. It is crispy white. So yeah, that's what I've picked up the last few days. Babe, you wanna say bye or you wanna add anything? I'll show them what I got. Okay. So we get to Florida. We check out our, our Christmas movies at Christmas time because the mink is kind of into Christmas. And I'm putting stuff away in this last year, past year, past year. Yeah, we go to get the Christmas movies out and I don't have my Christmas vacation. It's gone. I don't know where it went. So looking at the Goodwill today, again, I've said this before, I'll say it again. For the low, low price of $1.18, I now have a copy of Christmas Vacation. So that will almost complete my Christmas movie um, choices that I like to watch during the holiday season. What about you, Mink? What, babe? Which Christmas movies do you like? The Grinch. The Grinch. With Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's Grinch. I love Elf. Elf is a staple. Yes. The holiday. The holiday, yes. Yeah, that's like a romantic, cute one. Um, those are like my go-to films. Hmm. Yeah, you gotta watch Christmas Vacation. That's a good one. And the Christmas Story. That's usually on for a 24-hour run Christmas Day. That is not one of my favorites, though. But you've been to where they filmed it. You've been in the house. That's true. You were there. But it's still not my fave. Hmm. The Grinches and Elf. This is a special edition. I wonder what's special about it. Maybe extra features. Extra features are always good. Yeah, but I have to admit I've been there a couple times in the last several weeks. Whereas before that I hadn't been there once in the last probably three months. Yeah, well, that's because Florida wasn't open, but Florida is it's pretty much, now. it's completely open. Yeah, be back to school pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, our state is, um, as far as I know, we are going back to school, so I think that's going to depend state by state. I'm not really sure. I think it is. But And again, that's the plan in Florida for now as of 
July 12th. Yeah. I would film game night for you guys so you could see it, but that's not going to be till like 9, 10 o'clock. So that's going to be late it's night. It's going to be too late, but we've been enjoying um, with family mm -hmm. the left, right, center we've been playing. Um, and <laughs> screw your neighbor. So that's a lot of fun. It's a card game. It's great. Yeah. There's different terms for it, but we go by that because it's the nice, nice term. Pass the ace. Yeah. But that's a fun game to play if you have a table with... Lots of people. Yeah. 10, 15 people at it. You can play it with three. You can play with two, technically, but it's a lot more fun when you have a lot yeah. more people. And then we're going to have drinks. I um, It's a it's a fall specialty that I do. It's a combination, but it's not fall yet, so I should, I should wait to tell you guys this, but because we're going to have it tonight and I was talking about it. Oh, we made s'mores. We made a sheet pan with s'mores on it, too, which was really fun. First time your dad ever had s'mores from the oven. And he liked it. He did. Yeah, the whole family loved it. So that was exciting. And I'll show you guys that this fall. I'll do a video. But the drinks that we're having tonight is apple juice. But usually we would use apple cider. But they don't have that out right now. And then it's salted caramel vodka. So that is what we are going to be having tonight. And then we also have sparkling... Is it rosé wine? Yes. Um, and that's non-alcoholic. But that sparkling rosé is really good. It tastes just like grape juice. You don't juice. like the lawnmower, do you? No, she hates it. That's Sassy birthday kitty. I wanted to put a birthday hat on her and take a picture, and I was like, she is going to hate that. Actually, Larry's like, she's going to hate that. Yeah. Like, yeah, you're right. She will. I can't even get a Christmas sweater on her. I tried that when I first got her like eight years ago. <laughs> she would roll over, stiff as a board, feet straight out, and... And just look pitiful and stare at you. Yeah. And you try and put her back up, and it was like one of those uh, weebles wobble, but they <gasps> don't fall down. It was she would just immediately. My mingo. I gotta show you guys my flamingo. I forgot about that. Yeah, I did too, almost. Also at Goodwill was this floaty, which I didn't even see when we first walked in. Originally fourteen ninety nine. We got it for six dollars and ninety nine cents, and it's a little ring, and I'm very excited about it. It's uh, I think. 3.5 feet wide. That's pretty big. Almost three and a half feet. Yeah, so expect some pictures on Instagram. You get in your this. choice of flamingo, peacock, pineapple, pineapple, or toucan. Peacock, cock. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you would like to. And we will see you guys again very soon. So, bye. Bye.